staff report or senior edition or a brochure? So I'm just collecting information at this point. I think we agreed to maybe do a wintery type after yeah. the season's over. I'm going to ask the chief again for a report of all incidents on the lake that can give us the feel for how the summer went. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I'm looking for ideas. All right. Uh, Greg, if you've got any input, you're pretty good at uh, writing stuff up. If you've got any, any input on, on how it should be done, uh, talk about uh, and have you just comment and if you would do that, yeah. Lisa. I'm thinking that maybe very much appreciated. early December. I think that's what we talked about, Dave, right? Yeah. Going early December. Okay. And mail it to your home. We'll mail it all to your home. Yeah. I think you should add, I mean, with John's comment, most of them are probably good and respectable holders. You probably also have a, a bad apple that if they get their number or their bolt, if they get, you know, capsized or flooded out or rip off the anchor that they can call the chief and the chief will yeah. issue a ticket. It's I have tried getting boat numbers. I've seen people come through my little section where I am, and it's extremely difficult uh, to get boat numbers when the boat's moving, and uh, even though the letters are just good. Right, but if the, the person driving away board actually reads that and thinks, oh my God, they yeah. my number, I think it might be a little. Certainly, that's, you have a direct link for the numbers. Right. Well, I don't know what you guys think. <laughs> well, I'm thinking you ought to say something. <laughs> okay? Sounds good. All right. Uh, moving on, um, staff report on payment to LB, uh, LBJ request for a town level contribution to assist staff and expense discussion possible action. Uh, have we, um, I think we made the, the commitment we were going to do it. Uh, are we lacking in the motion that needs to be made? No, we did. I thought it was very nice. Uh, I, I think I. Uh, it did. Why is it on the agenda? Yeah, you. Because you tell me put it on the agenda. When did I tell you? Way back, way back. I don't know. We talked but about I think, I think, well, think well, as we're saying, it's the status, it's the status report. No, no. I don't think okay. BPIA okay. needs to request it. Oh. I don't know when they're when they're oh. going to stop. And we agreed to do it. Now, um, they do it, and I'll give them the report money. is they need, the report is uh, that, that the LBPI yeah. needs to ask okay. for a check. Okay. Yes. So moving on, a status report on aquatic plant harvesting equipment discussion possible action. Commissioner Roger. Uh, the only two things that are asked for discussion, as we talked about earlier, is whether or not we are going to proceed in getting a new uh, vehicle. Uh, and the, of course, the question now is with all the shortages of everything, is that vehicle going to be more expensive until we try to wait a year before we actually uh, try to, to accomplish this fact? The other thing was, of course, uh, a, a new motor for the John boat because we've had so much repair on the one we've got. So, uh, but keeping that maybe as a backup, but then maybe uh, replacing that with a hopefully better equipment. And uh, well, we haven't actually talked to anybody about it yet, but we that's one something that we should say yes, we're going to do it. No, we're not. So, what I'd like you to do for the John boat motor is use it and when when it finally dies and it needs repairs we'll just buy it uh, uh, are they available now no no, motors. no motors yeah because motors are like yes. everything else it's all sorts of chips in them and chips are scarce and you can't get anything people are paying premium dollars for, to buy boats now used boats because they need to take their motors i think it's a good question but i think the smaller motors like this would be 25 or less than it's yes, a 25 motor yeah chips. i think they're they're bigger, there's nine yeah. eight chips there yeah. Well, I would check that it's available. Uh, I would check. All right. If you're if you're comfortable waiting and you don't want to do it anymore, I'll talk to Stu. I would say uh, your judgment. I'll yeah. Right. I'll talk to Stu and I'll go in and I'll talk to uh, Rick because yeah. that's where we have him by him. Right. Yeah. And uh, see yeah. what he has to say, and I'll report back at uh, our next well, meeting or two. Um, do we need? I, I would like to give you the authority to go ahead as you see. Well, and he already does. It's in the budget. It's exactly. in the yeah. there's money okay. for okay. equipment purchases and this you is understand money. you have the authority to do it. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Um, in regards to the truck, I'm I can see trucks online at local dealers, brand new, 2021s, 
one ton trucks, dump trucks, 55,000. And I would really highly recommend when we do buy a truck, we buy a brand new one. We don't buy a used one. Well, that's, that's the next thing, because we, we are the perfect truck owner. We only use it in the summer, and then it gets put away in the winter. We're not gonna have rust issues. If you buy a used truck, most of those people use them to plow, and they're pretty rough. Yeah. So that, that would be the next thing. Uh, what we did last was simply we needed a four-wheel drive, and that's right. why we did it right Four-wheel drive, one ton with a dumb box there, 55, 60. Do we have one that's so, operating now? Yes. Is it operating well, or is it on its last leg? Well, it, it had, uh, this summer we've done several things to it. Stu seems to think that we can still get through with it, but I think we should at least start looking. He says he's seen them online. I've talked to Rody about it. He gave me a, a quote of in the fifty to sixty thousand for what we need, which would replace basically what we've got now. We need a Ford, GMC, everything. Mm -hmm. And he they suggested we go gas because once the diesel warning work uh, goes out, that they're over the top to repair. So we will probably go gas. I mean, that would be my suggestion to go gas. Okay. I think there's flexibility here, isn't it? I mean, if, if you buy what we have, that's fine. If it's a problem, we will just buy a new one uh, at any time. Yeah. Right. So I, I will start checking in, and Chris can help me. He says he's finding things online. I'll talk to Rudy again and say, see, because they're the ones that always fix it, and so he can tell me exactly what the condition of the truck is. Anything else on that? Uh, that's all I've got for that. All right. Um, the um, item A, new business is taken care of. Item B is uh, I'd like to appoint a committee uh, to uh, revise the bylaws to make sure we don't have any inconsistencies and any ambiguities. And Chris, would you like to serve on that committee? Say yes. <laughs> Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Oh, oh. And I also would like to serve on that committee. I'd like to have Ron to be on that committee. I'm at your disposal. And, uh, <laughs> yes. And uh, anyone who has comments on any section should put them in writing and send them to Chris because he's, he's going to be the central figure on it. And he needs to take the lead. Um, and that, that's all there is on that. Okay. Remember, you're one of your main things was to go through the um, the voting process because remember that's why I'm on that's, that's why, why, why I'm on the email that's, that's why I'm on the right and because Al Hager even when he did the audit report he said we emails. need to get things in sync document your concerns yeah yeah all right no I'm just reminding you what's already been said documented in email <laughs> right. is there any comments. Where are you guys doing tonight? Good. Good. Moving along. Well, uh, come down here tonight to uh, share some information with you. Uh, I've been meeting with uh, Commissioner Becker uh, four or five times over the last month, month and a half. With who? John. John? Okay. And uh, we discussed several things from the stuff happening down the west end of the label to uh, the stuff in court with the litigation and all that stuff. And um, this is something that I did because I don't want to see a hotel on Lake Hill, um, especially a 68 room hotel. And I think the path that we're going down right now, um, there's a possibility that we could end up with one when uh, Act 67 gets uh, put into play and it ends up uh, going through the courts and probably being denied at the county and going to the state Supreme Court. And uh, we had this happen once before with the pier in front of Dockside, and that was a long journey. I lived in the state Supreme Court, and you know, 300,000, just under 300,000 was spent, and now there's a good sized pier up there that, uh, you know, the business uses, and it is what it is. But um, I went and contacted and spoke with uh, Mr. Tyson, the guy who was putting the development. I don't have a dog in the fight. I am not receiving any money. I'm not receiving anything. I'm here as somebody that's been in the area for five decades, and I don't want a hotel there. And I think most of the people here don't want a hotel there either. Um, we need something there. I'm not sure exactly where it needs to be, but we need something there because the building that's there is in disrepair and uh, should be replaced. So I sat down. Uh, with John last week, Thursday, 
And uh, the next day I met with Mr. Tyson and I asked John to put a letter together. Is there both a John? Can you tell me which one? Sorry. JP. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll use, all right. I sat down the next day with JP and I asked him, is there any way that we could um, uh, pull this lawsuit off the table and uh, stop this litigation? Uh, because I said, I don't really want to see a hotel there. And, you know, he has a right to get what he can get on his property. And I just thought there should be some intervention because I think a 68 room hotel doesn't do our community any favors. It does the developer a favor, and it does the people that come in from Illinois and out, outside the area a favor, but it doesn't do us a favor. So um, after I sat down with JT, he uh, wrote a three-page handwritten thing, letter here. Um, and I'd like to pass it out to you guys, you guys can read it. Um, he's offering an olive branch to cease and end the lawsuit and uh, he's proposing that he replaces what's there with a small restaurant, small bar, and uh, 25 condos. And I don't think they're required to be 65 and above, it's just 25 condos, high-end condos, not cheapies. So I'll pass this out. Um, I've seen litigation on this lake uh, for several decades and what happens. And at the county and the town levels, things get covered with a fine brush. All details are covered. Everything's pretty thoroughly covered. When you get to the uh, Supreme Court level, state Supreme Court level, uh, they don't have a vested interest in what happens in our community. And I just think it's better that we don't end up in the state Supreme Court because it's not probably any good for us. So um, I'd like to make one comment on the wake board folks. Um, I did get up and speak at the town board meeting last time and I voiced some concerns and I've had uh, two of my boats that have gotten uh, swamped from wake board operators operating too close. They were sitting still and uh, they came too close, uh, three foot wave, came right over the front of a couple of boats. So I hope that you guys can do some kind of campaign to uh, address that and educate the public and they have a right to use the lake. You can't come, you can't use the lake, but we just need to have them do it in a fashion that's safe and where everyone can enjoy the lake. So thanks. Um, due to the fact that we are involved in a lawsuit regarding this matter, and the district has previously been advised by our attorney, uh, Mike Bauer, uh, to make no comments on this matter. We will not make, we will not respond to this, nor shall we should any individual member of this board take it upon themselves to comment at this time. Moving on. Um, next item of business is the term of the meeting. Term of the next regular meeting. are the 2nd, um, the 9th, the 16th, the 23rd, and the 30th. I don't think so. And of course, you've got Thanksgiving in there, so you know, you've got the Tuesday before Thanksgiving and the Tuesday after. If you want to meet on, on a Tuesday, what about the 9th? Oh, I don't know if I'd be able to make it the 9th. How about the 16th? I can't. Let's go with the 16th. Any objection to the 16th? John, will you be back on the We'll do it by phone or whatever. Objections. Any objections? If you're no objection, I'll entertain a motion. Well, do we need a motion? No, I'm just saying. Just saying. Uh, I'll call the meeting then for the 16th. Thirty. Okay. Yeah. I make a motion we go in a closed session then. 
He's got to read the agenda item first. What's that? He needs to, the chairman needs to read the agenda item. Yeah. Um, close to entertain motion to go to closed sessions. The main is for items to be discussed in closed sessions or as enumerated in section 19.85 sub 1 sub G. Other Wisconsin state statute to confer with legal counsel for the governmental body who is rendering oral or written advice concerning strategy to be adopted by the body with respect to the litigation in which it is or is likely to become involved with respect to possible action to be taken with regard to one status report and discussion on pending litigation in Walworth County case number 2020CV000588, 1341 Detroit LLC et al. versus Walworth County et al. And two, legal update discussion of C4 land potentially improperly being used for commercial business in and around the southeast, southwest session, excuse me, of Lake Road. Um, now we'll entertain a motion done. I uh, made a motion for the first session. Second. Um, uh, seconded by Stan. Uh, roll call. Uh, Greg? Aye. John? Stan? Yes. Dave? Yes. Yes. Liz? Yes. But Aye. Aye. All those be voted. We are now in closed session. We appreciate it. Close your camera down and 